Hello D reviewers, and welcome once more to the break. Before we get started, hit the like and subscribe button and we will be on our way. In today's episode, Dina Brown writes in the palace's papers that Cressida is the person who Harry to acknowledge he was battling with his emotional well-being. Prince Harry and Cressida Bone has dated for approximately two years, between 2012 to 2014. It was during this time that Cressida, as per the palace papers by Tina Brown, urged the prince to look for help for mental treatment. His eruptions were always incessant and innocent, Brown composes. He took up boxing in light of the fact that, as he later said, he was consistently very nearly punching someone. Cressida started to have genuine stresses over his psychological well-being. It isn't commonly realized that it was she who initially convinced Harry to see an advisor. One mysterious family companion told Brown that Cressida inspired him to acknowledge he had issues and see a psychoanalyst. A common companion of Cressida and Harry's additionally informed Brown that when the two split up, Harry thought of her a letter saying thanks to her for pushing him towards treatment. The companion reviews, he thought of her a sweet letter saying I appreciate you, I hope everything works out for you or more all thank you for assisting me with tending to my evil spirits and look for help. As indicated by the BBC, Harry and Cressida split up on the grounds that she needed to zero in on her acting profession, however it was likewise hypothesized that the media investigation prompted the termination of their friendship. The split was friendly. Cressida and Harry remained companions, and she was even in participation at his 2018 wedding to Meghan Markle. Last weekend I went to the royal wedding, she wrote in a blog about the day. The greeting obviously expressed that visitors should wear caps. Yo sir. I decided on a negligible padded number and might dare to dream I took care of business. Cressida wedded another Harry, Harry Wentworth Stanley, in 2020, yet her popular ex was not in that frame of mind because of the pandemic. I had a lockdown wedding, Cressida wrote in The Spectator. A 30-man, socially separated, disinfected chapel gathering was coordinated in less than about 14 days. Limitations implied no songs, no wind instruments and no talking too uproariously. A mistake for a melodic family. Not what we'd visualized, yet a closer and exceptional day than we might at any point have envisioned. Defective yet great a day we will always remember. If you made it to the end of the video, kindly hit the subscribe button and leave a comment, it helps the channel.